<coughs> continuing with the double distributive property with uh, higher powers of x and, and, and things like that. We'll just look at these uh, types of examples where you have, if you look at them carefully, this is x plus three fifths. Uh, yeah. And this is x minus three fifths. So see see the pattern here. And how what about this one? What do you see here? A y cubed minus zero point two times a y cubed plus zero point two. So you can see it's it's almost the same thing. Only there's a difference of signs. Okay, in between the two um, the two uh, terms, right? So in any case, uh, by all means, press pause and multiply this out and see what you get. Then check on the video. So press pause, multiply this out, see what you get, and then check the video for your answer, right? Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So the first step is uh, double distributive property. So multiply everything by the x and then multiply everything by the 3 fifths, right? So x times x, x squared x times negative three-fifths, as you get that, it's negative three-fifths x, right? What about three-fifths times x? So now we multiply everything by this, right? Three-fifths times x and then three-fifths times negative three-fifths, what did you get there? Three-fifths times x plus three-fifths x, right? Three-fifths times negative three-fifths, what does that give you? Positive times negative, negative. 3 times 3, 9. 5 times 5, 25. Right? And when you add like terms, what do you get? Are there any like terms? Sure are, right? You've got negative 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths x. Let me just ask you quickly, what would negative 3x plus 3x be equal to? Wouldn't that be 0x, right? Or 0? Does that make sense? 0x is just 0, right? So what about negative 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths x? It's just like negative 3 fifths plus 3 fifths, okay? 0, isn't it? So these two just make 0x or 0, right? So the answer is just x squared. These two just make 0. We can just cross, cross them out. Just add to 0. So x squared minus 9 over 25, right? Now, by all means, press pause and try this one, and then check the video for your answer, okay? Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'll do it now. So y cubed times y cubed, and then y cubed times 0.2. y cubed times y cubed, y to the power of 6, right? y cubed times 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 y cubed, right? Now what? Negative 0 0.2 times y cubed, and then negative 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, right? Negative 0 0.2 times y cubed is negative. 0.2y cubed. What's negative 0.2 times 0.2? That's a negative number. And by the way, when you multiply decimals, I'll do it down here. When you multiply decimals, 2 times 2 is 4, right? And then, you know, 0 times 2 is 0 and all that. But the point is we have one, two decimal places in the question. So that means... So if you count them, you see there's one, two decimal places in the question, so there should be one, two decimal places in the answer. And then you stick a, a decimal point here, and then zero. So it's point zero 0.04 is the answer, or 0 0.04, right? So minus 0 0.04 is the answer, right? And um, do we, what happens now? Any like terms? There are, aren't they? There's a 0.2y cubed minus 0.2y cubed, Okay, that makes zero y cubed, doesn't it? Zero y cubed, or zero, right? And so the answer is y to the power of six minus zero point zero four, right?